Hi everyone, CNXsoft here. So what we have here is an industrial AMD Ryzen embedded uh, single board computer by a Taiwan company called DFI. It has no US full, uh, full size USB ports so I, I had to connect a USB-C hub to connect keyboard, mouse, hard drive and I connected the power, so I will I will start it. And let's let's see how it performs. Okay, so I'm going to launch four apps to show the loading times. Firefox, Chrome, Thunderbird, and GIMP. I've just rebooted the. Uh, the board so there is no caching involved it's running off an EMMC so it's not quite as fast as SSD ok but everything is loaded and now let's go to Firefox I will load multiple tabs. This board only has four gigabyte RAM, so at some point we, we would run out of RAM, or you would start swapping a lot. Uh, but this is loading OK. And let's go to YouTube. Let's go to find video. Wow. OK, it says OK. It's fine. Uh, this one you can see I have installed H264 hi fi plugin to force uh, YouTube to use H.264 so we can try this one oh that's great so today I can get 4K And it's using, it's somehow using VP9 codec. Okay, that's not so great, you see. <laughs> uh, there are lots of uh, dropped frames, so it's not smooth. And the reason is YouTube uh, does not use hardware video decoding for H.264 for VP9 so since I have this plugin installed I saw let's reload the video ok and now we can see it's HD and this is smooth and this time it's AVC1, so H.264 video. Huh? AVC1, no, this is Advanced Video Collect 1. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, the same thing in YouTube, in, in Chrome.
Okay, so let's see what we can select. We can go up to 4K. Uh, but it's also VP9. And the system cannot keep up again because of Software video decode on the dual core processor is not good enough. That's a shame uh, because the GPU is capable of hardware video decoding, but is not uh, it's not used by YouTube. So, so now let's try HTML5 game with Candy Crush Saga. It should be very easy, but we'll see how it goes. Took a while. Asphalt 8 on Gemini Lake uh, mini pieces. Uh, it was not perfectly smooth, so we'll see if the improved graphic performance makes it better. Not yet 60 frames per second. Like you expect. Okay. 
Okay, here for this demo. Next and final, uh, I'll run Cody. Okay, uh, just a quick check about the display settings. So you can see now I'm uh, 1920 times 1080 and we can switch to 4K resolutions. Uh, okay, and if we go to advanced, uh, uh, we can see it switched to 29 hertz so like the specs uh, indicated there is no there is no support for uh, 60 frames per second it's only limited to 30 what <laughs> okay okay this time we are already really going to start coding Set a USB drive with some files. That hopefully we can add. Okay, it's already there. So uh, let's play some 4K video files. So I enabled uh, automatic frame rate switching already. So if we check, we switch to 30 hertz and uh, Dolby Digital audio output is supported or HDMI pass through. And the video plays uh, just fine, no problem. And this one is a BT.2020 video, H265. Uh, right now we are supposed to see a river, maybe some fish. So obviously, uh, it's not. It's not working as it should. VP9 video, this one is quite hard. Uh, right now it's hardware video decoding. Uh, but okay, this video is 60 frames and this is a uh, 30 hertz. Display, so maybe that's why it's not perfectly smooth. Another IG265 video. Okay, uh, this one plays, but it's not perfect because it's supposed to be 59.94. And obviously uh, we can't do that, so it's 30 hertz. H.264 I think it's 30. 